Monkey Beaver again, Monkey Beaver products. But first, a disclaimer Josh Man is in no way, shape, or form affiliated with the Monkey Beaver hombres out there on the West Coast. Uh, we're just a fan of the gear and uh, it suits me well. Just some good, regular, down home arborist gear. So, rugged and tough. I'm not receiving any type of special, uh, special favors, discounts, rebates, incentives, uh, kickbacks, perks, tax write-offs, or none of that shenanigans uh, from the Monkey Beaver boys for doing uh, this, uh, this sloppy, unprofessional review. All right, let's jump into it. So here we have their, uh, their traditional style rope bag with the uh, apron and drawstring top. That's what I was using. There's nothing wrong with it. It's very rugged. It, uh, it stands up good, but it has this softer, kind of more supple feel compared to like one of these. Oopsie, we'll blur the brand out. Rhymes with crotch, but uh, nothing wrong with these. These uh, these are really tough and rugged too. They stand up nice to flake your rope in. Also have an apron with the drawstring. I think either one uh, will fit easily 200 feet of rope. Uh, that's gonna fill it, you know, fill it up past the uh, the top of the bucket, definitely on this one, it's a little shorter there. But uh, the, the whole reason uh, of this, uh, this original Monkey Beaver purchase, uh, this bag purchase here, uh, wasn't just because uh, I wanted to be matchy and flashy with the uh, Monkey Beaver saddle, it was a space savings issue with my gear bag. This bag here, just because it was stiffer and takes up a little more space, uh, it was a little bit more difficult to get into my gear bag. Nothing wrong with it, I'll say that. The Crotch brand makes decent, uh, some decent stuff and some not so decent stuff. So regardless. So that being a little stiffer, uh, it was sometimes uh, a bit more of a bear to put into my gear bag here with all the other stuff, the saddle and spurs. So this caught my eye because it was a little softer and uh, she'd go in there, uh, it, was, it was nice. And it went in there a little better with uh, the spurs in the saddle. Then when they came out with um, when they came out with this here, this really caught my eye because of its, uh, they basically, I think they call it the rope en envelope. Or at one point they make mention of it on the video. I'll leave a link to, to the uh, Monkey Beaver video showcase in the bag. It, this is uh, this is the 150 foot version and they make it in a 200 foot version, a little bit bigger. That being said, I'd probably recommend right away, I'd say, uh, for most folks uh, that probably aren't really looking at a specific purpose for it, uh, uh, as far as space savings, uh, go with the 200 foot to give yourself that more uh, uh, versatility for ropes. But I, I specifically wanted like the smaller one and this uh, this rectangular, more compact size was what I was going for because it really uh, really fits in my bag uh, quite quite well. But you know, a lot lot better. I have uh, spurs, I have spurs that uh, that go down in the bottom upside down and then uh, this really tucks in there nicely and then my saddle uh, goes right right in on top and granted I'm usually loading it while it's on the ground you know like that sitting on its, its side but this really saves saves extra room so I just knew that it was going to be uh, very good for my gear bag and just how to kind of make life easier to store things or to, you know to get in and out she is uh, pretty full with 150 foot of uh, Blue Moon in it. But I do have, I mean, I think technically the space, there is still a little space. That you, you almost could get away with 200 in here, but it'd be pretty uh, rowdy for sure in there. I get this strap out. Basically uh, consists of like these ad this adjustment on the side, both sides to kind of make uh, putting the rope in easier and it has this nice uh, cl uh, plastic uh, snaps in the middle which kind of helps contain the rope after and just uh, it shrinks it in you can uh, the way it rolls 
kind of rolls up, almost like a, reminded me of a school lunch sack. But uh, then it has this uh, this snap over the. You can choose to either kind of clip it, like see maybe we, with your two. If you put 200 foot in this guy, you can probably keep it together a little better by utilizing this top snap. Um, and then there is a D-ring here, and a little on the on the very the front carrying handle. Uh, there's another D-ring, which is the way that I. I have this little accessory uh, non-locking beaner that I just keep that on to mount it to my saddle. Or you can uh, you can bring it, kind of draw draw it all up. And bring this one over. Bring it over the top and there is another snap there on the back. And uh, Samurai Joe makes uh, mention of this in that video. Uh, it has this, this strap and there is a little like a locking clasp on the side. So you, uh, what you do with that is you bring it, bring it around your waist and uh, thread that in there. And lock her down and then uh, you know as this uh, all open up uh, you can uh, flake the rope we can show a little little of that into the job or whatever just came out of the tree and uh, it works even better too if uh, you do the old trick where you kind of if you got like a pulley or something hanging up up a little bit high clip like a rock exotica or even really a carabiner and a sling something like that higher where you can kind of yard it in there you can be even faster but like if uh let's say two uh did like some sort of uh, pruning or whatever uh srt base anchor you get a little bit of a free uh kind of a free helping hand when you're uh, untie your base anchor and you're pulling that uh that rope back to you you know you can stand right underneath uh you're tying as you're pulling it out and you get you can at least get like you know half or or whatever the case you know you get a good bulk of the rope fed from above straight you know directly above which is nice but even just this way if it's all completely like we're doing now where it's just all 100 percent on the ground this isn't a oh hackled this is new this one's a new one brand new skis um this ain't bad at all and we're just kind of we're just chill we're not even really hurrying you know just normal pace kind of even stop like oh yeah that was pretty fucking funny jerry when you fucking fell over that brush piece of brush when you're trying to fucking yeah oh yeah bro and freaking and then we're just uh we'll look back or whatever look at uh tom dick and harry over by the chippers see what they're doing or something and kind of uh I don't like what they're doing, but they're all right, them boys. They mean well. And here we come. Got the eye of the tiger right there. And uh, that that feature, this waist feature, uh, really didn't. I thought it was kind of gimmicky at first. It didn't really interest me as far as uh, or, or uh, sway me in my decision to get it. Uh, but. I was like, well, I mean, it has it. Let me, uh, before I decide whether or not I'm going to cut this, uh, this strap off or something, uh, like, let me use it. And then now the more that I've used it on the jobs, uh, I found it very, uh, I actually do like that. Uh, it just makes it easier flaking the rope, uh, at the end. I think it does speed up the process versus, like, doing it on the ground. Well, that brings us to the to the main point of why this is more than just a rope bag. Uh, let's say you are uh, uh, climbing a tree that just needs to be there's no no like rigging involved or like like a pine tree, but it doesn't really matter. There's no rigging involved, but it does need to be climbed and limbed out and topped. Bingo! Love it. In order for you to like fall the the stub or or piece down completely but you, you usually uh you usually don't climb with a you know a rope bag on your saddle it's like your ropes down there and then you need people it's hanging down and you need people to manage it but uh hopefully 
Hopefully the view's good and you can see that we are one of the perks about this bag, the new brand new monkey beaver bag, as you can see it's uh, strapped to my saddle up here because I'm gonna be kind of ching ching, you know, sending this stuff down. And uh, if I'm on, if I'm SRT, that's fine. If something traps my rope, I can still descend. Uh, I might have a problem setting up a retrieval though, too. So this is nice. Hopefully I can just work like this. Um, and leave my rope in the, the bag, which is a beautiful thing. Uh, the profile of this, it's odd. Why 150 foot in this bag versus 150 foot of the same rope in this bag hanging on your saddle. Uh, feels completely night and day different. Uh, but I hang it back on my uh, care tool. I have a, uh, a large care tool back here. And uh, it's, it's very, I found it actually very, uh, very pleasant actually I guess I could say to uh, climb it just it's weird I mean it, it definitely helps with these uh, monkey beaver suspenders distributing the weight but uh, regardless of suspenders or not there's something about this where it makes it a little a little easier to maneuver in the tree you bump it a little bit and it, you know into your leg with uh, the way that this uh, has that rounder profile to it uh, it, it just like it rests on your leg the whole the whole time and uh so you got a good uh glimpse of that there yeah there's something about this way the way like i can just i feel it feel it more and just get in the way a little more so um so i'm finding myself uh utilizing that feature uh more and more you know like uh, when it makes sense uh to just to have my rope with me so it's not even uh an equation or not even a factor on the ground you know getting in the way uh granted it like that's uh there's a little couple drawbacks i've noticed uh with that aside from the like i said like bumping into your legs so like trying to maneuver into tight tight union stepping up into stuff that's the benefit of having the rear rope tail um your rope hanging down to the ground you have uh, all that extra rope weight so it can make uh, tending uh, drt devices easier like a zigzag or uh, my uni Anyways, you can kind of either like pull down or uh, sort of like from the top stuff it into your device and like that extra rope weight just helps like feed, tend it really nicely. Even natural crotch I've noticed. But uh, so when you have the bag hanging on your uh, saddle, you don't have that rope weight. So there's one drawback I've noticed to, to utilizing that. It's not that it's like uh, made it to where I want to climb with the, this bag on my saddle for every single climb, but I really like uh the way it, it rides even with the saw next to it too um it's not a bad uh bad feature and i really thought it was uh, worth mentioning to folks that like maybe uh, it's just an easier method rather than like bringing up a rope coil too here you can kind of uh just flake uh if you happen to come back down um and you have some you know you want to get rid of your excess just kind of can flake uh flake it back into the bag Samurai Joe makes mention about utilizing this bag uh, during crane work too with the waist, the waist strap feature, which is my next uh, point too of what I really love about this bag is uh, riding the crane ball, doing crane work. beginning first few times or whatever uh when i first started uh riding the ball and climbing with the crane i would always just leave the rope uh rope bag right on the ground and ride up and i quickly learned that uh that became a battle because the rope would get like draped over limbs you didn't want it to and maybe you uh were going to take a different path down the tree than you uh, originally thought so there's this constant uh rope pulling pulling it over branches and all that so and then uh, uh, obviously uh, crane work, I just decided, you know, always I'm gonna strap whatever, you know, whatever bag I may have been using. Uh, it was getting strapped on the saddle and it'd ride up with me and I could come down either, uh, you know, uh, keep it on me. But most of the times after I, we made our first strap and I was ready to make the first cut, then I would take the bag, toss it down. But it was in a, in a manner in which uh, it wasn't gonna be manner in which it wasn't going to be a problem.
So uh, that's another perk, I think, to this beauty here. Um, just uh, the way it's uh, made my, my crane work and then them certain uh, like dismantle climbs where everything can be free, free fell. And you don't got to worry about burying your rope at the bottom. It's just this, this profile, this, this, it rides good. Overall, that's become, uh, it, you know, made this more than just a regular old rope bag. I look at this as a tool now rather than uh, a rope bag. I never once uh, thought of a rope bag uh, as a tool, you know. Um, the features this offers, I think, is uh, pretty nice. And uh, I guess it's, uh, it's a, I think it's very, maybe it's just a bit more than those bags, but very close to the price you're already paying for a lot of rope bags. So uh, it's kind of like, why not? So I highly recommend it. Uh, may not, it just may not be for everyone, but um, I think uh, hopefully I just wanted to shed some light on this and maybe get someone thinking, uh, thinking outside the box or whatever. This could be could be useful to them too. Well, all right, that's about it. And uh, good guy. I hope uh, hope it wasn't too long. I uh, really thank you for your time watching uh, each and every one of you uh, y'all support. So uh, just thanks for tuning in, and uh, hopefully you got some uh, some use. You know, a little uh, try before you buy uh, through Josh Man's experience with this. Uh, I like this bag a lot. And Definitely, uh, if I need to uh, replace it, you know, I'll, I'll be getting it again, I think, because of its, uh, its good versatility and uh, functionality uh, features it offers. So, uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you see on the next one.